the other day I did a video and I entitled it, What Was I Thinking? We all have those moments, don't we? And the beauty is, is that we can get by them, we can get past them, regardless of how significant they may be. I was thinking of Peter, and Peter, of course, in that story had denied Christ. Here's the beauty, Christ gave him a second chance. The thing is, is that when we do something foolish, when we make a decision that, well, wasn't the one we should have made, God will give us a second chance. He'll give us a third chance, and a fourth chance, and a fifth chance. I don't know if we would be that gracious to someone, but God is, and that's the point, is that God is the God of second chances. The thing is, is that sometimes we get, while well, we get down on ourselves, we get really upset with the things we've done. Other people may, may be as well. But God, God says, come back to me. Come back and start again. Start afresh. The slate's clean. You don't have to worry about what you had done. Let's just worry about what you're going to do from here on out. And that's the beauty of forgiveness. That's the beauty of what Christ does. Here's the thing. I don't care, and it doesn't matter where you've been. It doesn't matter what you've done. It doesn't matter how far you've drifted. There is a way back. His name, well, his name is Jesus. The challenge is, is whether or not you'll follow after his call, whether or not you will actually do what he's called you to do. You remember in the scriptures it says, come, let us reason together, though your sins be as red as scarlet, I shall wash them as white as snow. That's the promise that God gives, the promise that you and I have. The question is whether or not you're going to take that step I know that sometimes we get really down on ourselves and kick ourselves. In fact, we're the ones that gives us the most grief about something we've done. Well, God is just standing there and say, come back. You remember the story of the prodigal son? Well, the prodigal son left. He left to go do whatever he wanted to do. And one day he came to his senses and he came and came home point of that story is that the father was looking for him, waiting for him. And that's where he is with you as well. He's looking. It doesn't matter the mistake you've made. It doesn't matter the blunder you've done. It doesn't matter how many times you have said to yourself, what was I thinking? God says, I was thinking of you. Would you come back to me? That's the challenge today. Let go of that thing that's holding you back and take the step back into the place that God has called you. Hey, until next time, God bless.